Mine is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi, this is Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you how to fix your uh, touch screen if it's not working properly. So on mine, the top part of my touch screen wasn't working anymore. And I called up Asus Tech Support because it's not even a year old and it was covered under a one year warranty. And they said it's a factory, um, it's, what do you, a software error, that's what they said. So basically what they had me do is click on my settings and when I clicked on my settings they told me to do a backup data. I clicked on backup data and then um, you check mark back up all your data to Google servers. So all your data gets backed up to the Google hard drives online. So when you uh, reset it, you retrieve all that information back again once you uh, put in your username and password for your Gmail account. If you can't do that and nothing's working at all, you can also plug it into your keyboard. When you plug it in your keyboard, your mouse pad, you should be able to do this. See the mouse? So even though the touch screen doesn't work, you still got access to the mouse cursor, the mouse. So you can do the click on settings and then backup data and then you know, check mark the Google, back up all your data to Google servers, and then click on reset. All right, that said, there's another way to do it. And the other way to do it is basically you hold down, first down you want to turn off the thing. Hold it down. All right, power off, yes, okay. Shutting down. All right. Now while it's shut down, another way to do it is this. Hold down the power button, and the volume down at the same time. So volume down and the power button. Hold them down until you get the letters on the screen. Hold it down hard. Keep on holding it down until you see the things on the screen. Boom. All right. Now this is a service mode. Now it's going to tell you hit volume down and then volume up to do your reset. So basically hit volume down and then volume up twice. There, now it's doing the factory reset. That way, like that's like worst case scenario, if your touch screen is not working period at all, you do that. Mainly, you really wanna go through your settings and then back it up first. You wanna do it that way. But worst case scenario, if your touch screen wasn't working at all period and you don't have the keyboard, last resort to do that way all right so that's how you do it thanks for watching post a comment subscribe to tampa tech i got more how to you um videos and how to fix tvs and tv repair videos and pc repair and tablet repairs even if you threw your tablet in the tub of water i got those videos too check them out on my tampa tech channel on my playlists thanks for watching guys peace